Now we are given delta of t and an arbitrary x of t and we are asked to find out what is integral minus infinity to infinity x of t into delta of t dt. So whenever we are dealing with integrals always recheck the variable of integration and the limits. In this case the variable of integration is t. Now let's solve this. So here we have the product x of t into delta of t. First let's see how x of t into delta of t will look like. So we have previously done this. That is x of t into delta of t will be plotting here. So for t not 0, x of t into delta of t is 0. But when t equal to 0, we will get a scaled impulse. Let's say this is x of 0. So we will get a scaled impulse. So we will get x of 0 into delta of t. So we have done this part before. So this integral is basically the area under this curve. So for the scaled impulse, the area under this curve is simply x of 0. So this is equal to x of 0. So on integrating this, that is we may substitute that is minus infinity to infinity x of 0 into delta of t dt. So x of 0 we can take it outside. So this is equal to x of 0 into integral minus infinity to infinity delta of t dt. So this part here its value is 1. So we will get x of 0. So this is another important result that is integral minus infinity to infinity x of t into delta of t dt is x of 0. Now in the next example we will see what happens when we multiply x of t with a delayed impulse. We are given delta of t minus t naught that is the shifted version of impulse function. That is we have now the impulse at t naught and we have an arbitrary x of t. Now we are asked to find out the integral minus infinity to infinity x of t into delta of t minus t naught into dt. So we need to find the value of this integral. So first let's find this product here that is x of t into delta of t minus t naught. So let's plot here x of t into delta of t minus t naught. Except at t naught everywhere else this product will be 0. That's because delta of t minus t naught has value only at t naught and the value of x of t at t is equal to t naught let's say be x of t naught. So what we get here will be a scaled impulse at t naught an amplitude scaling factor of x of t naught. So we may write this as x of t naught into delta of t minus t naught and the area of integration includes from minus infinity to plus infinity. So the value of this integral will be x of t naught. Now if you are not sure you can try integrating this. So this will be integral minus infinity to infinity x of t naught which is not a function of t we can take it outside that is x of t naught into delta of t minus t naught into dt. All we need to do is just a change of variable that is assume t minus t naught equal to some u and you can simply solve this integral and finally you will get x of t naught into this part here will be 1. So x of t naught into 1 will get x of t naught. So integral minus infinity to infinity x of t into delta of t minus t naught dt is x of t naught. Now let's review these properties. We have seen time reversal that is delta of t is equal to delta of minus t and delta of at that is the scaled version of impulse is equal to 1 by 
modulus of a delta of t. Now this modulus will take care of the sine of a. Then we have seen that when we multiply a signal with impulse, we will get a scaled impulse and it is scaled by the value of the signal at t equal to 0 and when we integrate it, we will get the value of the signal at t equal to 0. And we have also seen what happens when we multiply a signal with delayed impulse. So we will get the delayed impulse scaled by the value of the signal at t is equal to t naught. And when we integrate it, we will get x of t naught. Now these are some of the important properties. And always remember to recheck the variable of integration. Try proving that u of t can also be defined as integral 0 to infinity delta of t minus tau d tau.